In my opinion, clean tech startups, they are really approaching the, the systematic problem uh, that we are facing at the moment, which is climate change. And climate change isn't just straightforward. It's not just in the, in the transportation or, or agriculture. It involves each of our uh, daily activities. I have a background in environmental technologies and, and in 2015 I went to the Netherlands uh, to, to fulfill my, my dream in, in business development and when I started also startups. Uh, in 2016 I started in the position of CEO at Cleantech Forest and then we started developing the Estonian Cleantech ecosystem with national partners, both public and private, but also internationally uh, in, in Asia, Europe, but also the US. It's starting to be too late for the clean tech startups to actually uh, save the world. Uh, we have to tackle climate change one startup at a time. There's no question about it. You really need to, to approach the global climate change problem with a systematic approach. And that's what we do with clean tech startups. In my opinion, the most promising startup from, from Estonia, for example, is, uh, is a, a four-leather um, manufacturer called Gelatex. The Gelatex Technologies, they produce four leather from animal wastes. They do it on a laboratory scale. The startups need funding for, for their businesses. That's obvious. Uh, what they also need is best experts in their field. We can see that this trend is growing. Uh, we can now also have the, uh, the, the business development from these experts and to use those experts in our accelerator programs, for example, to develop the startups.